It's definitely a 3D plane. Hey guys, welcome back to John's RC. If you're new to my channel, please click the subscribe button down below and click on the bell icon so you get notified of my weekly uploads. And also, if you haven't already, please follow my Instagram at JohnsRCX. Today, I'm going to be reviewing a beautiful model. This is the Sukhoi SU26 XP. I got this from Craigslist for a very good price and it was a great deal because as you can see, there's just a few scratches here and there on the wing. But other than that, it's in pretty good condition. You just can't find this model anywhere online anymore, so finding one in flying condition is pretty rare. It came with a bind and fly package, so that means you only have to supply your transmitter and you should be good to go. If you were in 2010, if this package was new, you would only have to supply your transmitter because it already came with a one cell LiPo and a one cell charger. Mine didn't come with those two, so I had to supply my own. But that's completely okay because I have tons of one cells and one cell chargers. The battery it requires is a just flip this over. A one cell 150 milliamp hour battery pack. As you can see, this is the Sequoia itself. It's a very beautiful model. It's it looks very sporty and it's also bright, so it should be relatively easy to see in the sky. It's also supposed to be a sport plane, so that means it should be able to uh, do a hover and do some knife edge. I'm hoping it flies similarly to the E-Flight UMX Yak 54. That's what I'm hoping for. But yeah, this model has a wingspan of 400 millimeters, a length of 362 millimeters, and a flying weight of 35 grams with the flight battery installed. That's pretty much it. So let's go and fly, guys. Alright guys, I have the Sequoia all plugged in and ready to go. As you can see, I have full control over the model, and of course off my throttle. So, yeah, let's go on flight, guys. I really hope this works. Okay, it's in the air. First thoughts, it looks a bit tail heavy, so let me trim that out. There we go. Definitely a 3D plane. Yeah, everybody. Where? Where? Everybody. Up there. Huh? Time remaining. Four minutes. Oh. All right. Some knife edge. Oop. Don't want to crush it there. Go hover. Yeah, the motors definitely isn't as strong as it was in 2010. It's so cute. <laughs> oh my god, this is definitely going to be a plan I'm going to add to my cul-de-sac flying models. Let me do a touch and go. That was a bit bouncy. Time remaining, three minutes. Three minutes on my timer. It's definitely something new. Like, I'm not used to the flight characteristics of this. It's really 3D, like... It just wants the move. Let me do some loops. Weird loop. Let me do a low pass.
They do an upside down little pass. I'm so happy this flies. I am so happy this flies. I can definitely try and sharpen my 3D skills with this. Learn some new tricks. The motor is a bit weak now. I mean, from age, not like battery life, but because of like how old it is, it isn't able to pull up a hover as well as it did when it was new. Yeah, it's just a fun plane to fly around. Okay. I have one minute on my timer too. I'm gonna land it. Oh. <laughs> Hit, down, Hit a rock. Alright, that was my main flight on the Hobby Zone uh, Sukhoi SU26 XP. It flew great in the air, I was able to do a bunch of my 3D maneuvers. The motor is obviously a bit old now, of course this model is 10 years old, so I wasn't able to pull off uh, a good hover because I kept on trying to stall. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for tuning to John's RC, and if you're new to this channel, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys! Excellent flight, John. Excellent flight. Alright guys, I have a, another battery for the Sukhoi, so now that I'm more comfortable with it, I think I know what to expect. So, yeah, let's fly this again. It does some pretty fast takeoffs. So, yeah, here we go. Alright, it's in the air again. Definitely a 3D plane. Time remaining four minutes. Ah. It's not as similar as the E Flight Yak 54, the thin one. It doesn't fly as similar. They do have their differences. Like the X54, I'm pretty sure it's faster. And also, this has no sort of stability, or uh, like stability, so there's no like Ace 3X. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure why some of my uh, turns are a bit weird. It's because there's no AS3X and there is a slight breeze. Such a nice plane. So happy it works. For its age too. A whole ten years.
pretty silent motor too. Now we know it's durable. <laughs> I don't like I'm going down my timer anyway. Okay, I'm gonna end this flight here because I have like a minute on my timer. But yeah, that was my second flight on the Sukhoi. I was able to do a b even more uh, 3D maneuvers and I did uh, end up crashing there. But yeah, thanks for tuning to John's RC. If you're new to my channel, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. So yeah, bye guys. Got a little carried away in the 3D there, buddy. <laughs> Still work? Yes.